John and I met during an art exhibition and instantly fell in love. We got married in January and moved to Mendenhall, where John set up his little bookstore. The first month passed like a dream. We laughed, giggled, danced, and enjoyed every moment in each other's company. It was like a fairy tale. I was his Cinderella, and he was my Prince Charming. I love you so much. I love you too, my prince. Now go. I will see you for lunch. In the afternoon, I packed our lunch and headed towards the bookstore. Soon, I reached the store. Oh, hey. Don't hey me. What's wrong? The books in the storeroom are all destroyed, torn and bitten by rats. Rats? Here? <laughs> I know, it's strange. The window was locked and we didn't find a single rat. Is the loss big? Yeah, spent all the profits on the new bestsellers. It's okay, we will figure out something. Please, I cannot see you upset. Come, let's eat. Hey, look at me. We can sell my car for now and cover the cost for the books. Uh, you don't need to do that, honey. It's fine. I can use the bus. Besides, once things fall back into place, I can buy a new car. Now stop with that sad face and give me a smile. <laughs> I love you, baby. I love you more. Oops, I'll get that. Honey, what's wrong? There is, there is someone under the table. What? Where? There is no one. Baby, are you all right? I, I don't feel too well. I think I should go home and rest. <laughs> you should. I will finish up soon and see you at home. When I reached home, I poured myself a glass of wine and I sat on the couch. I sat on the couch and turned the television on. I don't know when I passed out, but when I opened my eyes... Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> Hi, this is John. I am a little caught up right now. Please leave a message and I will get back to you. Shit! Ah! You... You need to run away. I will kill you. Please, please, don't kill me. Maggie? Maggie? Oh. Maggie? John! Oh, John! Take me, take me out of here now, please, John. Now! Maggie, Maggie, what's wrong? There's someone, someone in the house. She's upstairs. Wait here, I will check. I saw John go upstairs while I decided to call the cops. I had left my phone upstairs, so I decided to use John's. As I picked it up to dial the police station, a notification popped up. It was from his face copy app. I don't know why, but I clicked on it, and what I saw made the floor underneath my feet move. It was the photo of the woman with John. I looked at the caption written by her underneath the photo. Every minute with you feels like a lifetime. I love you so much, Jay. That's when John came downstairs. Hey, there is no one there. You sure you're okay? Who is she? What? What? 
What are you doing on my face, Copy? Who is she, John? She's no one, just an old girlfriend that didn't work out. Why is it important? Because this is the woman who was upstairs. What? It... it's impossible. Why? Because she's dead. What? What? As I was about to speak, I felt my body taken over by something else. A power. A force. <sighs> Some kind of a prank. Oh, I am no Maggie, John. Can't you tell? <laughs> I woke up with a headache. <laughs> John! John! John wasn't there. Where did he go? That's when I heard a loud noise coming from our basement. John! John! As I opened the basement, I saw a carton lying on the floor. It had fallen from the shelf, DVD discs spilling out of it. I picked one. Written on it was a name. Lena, Nevada. Then I looked at the other disc. Written on it was... Heidi, Peru. There were at least a dozen of them. I collected them and went back to our living room. I played the first one, the one that had Lena's name written on it. Please, please, John. Uh, uh, I love you. You can't do this to me. Ah, oh, but I can and I will. You see, your possessiveness makes me want to throw up. I hate you, Lena. I hate you. But I am going to love killing you. <laughs> John, no! No, John! John, no, no! <laughs> the screen went off. And I sat there, with eyes wide open, feeling unable to breathe. Shivering. I put the other disc on. <laughs> Love is an exaggeration, Heidi. It's a mere chemical reaction. The same chemicals that give me the thrill to kill. The same chemicals that gives me the thrill to kill. <laughs> I felt frozen. Paralyzed, the world around me began to spin. I trembled. My fairy tale world collapsing in front of me. The prince in my story is a monster? My stomach twisted, making me feel sick. Shaking, I walked up to the phone and dialed the cops. Hello? I'd like to report m multiple murders. I sat on the couch as the videos played in front of me. I heard John grunting. It was coming from behind the couch. I didn't realize that John was there all this while. I looked. He seemed to be in pain. Uh, uh, Ma Maggie, Maggie. Uh. Tears rolled down my eyes. My heart was still not ready to believe that he is a monster. John, I know. What are you talking about? And why did you hit me so hard? I don't know what he was talking about, but I didn't care. I just moved aside and let him see the television. His expression changed. 
You shouldn't have. Why? So that you could kill me next? No, no, no. I was never going to kill you, Maggie. You were different. Different than all of them. I was going to spend the rest of my life with you. But not anymore. The love and care that I had always seen in his face vanished suddenly. And now I could see him for the monster that he is. I am going to kill you. I panicked, tripped over and fell. John grabbed my feet and pulled me. You shouldn't have, Maggie. You shouldn't have. You were perfect. You had to ruin it. You... The call of my luck. But at that moment, the cops came. Move aside and put your hands in the air. <coughs> the cops handcuffed John. I told them everything and even showed the videos. As they were taking him away, John looked at me with anger. You will pay for this, Maggie. I will come back for you. Not even in a thousand years. You were going in for life. As they walked out, I saw Lena at the door. She smiled at me. I don't know why, but I smiled back. It is because of her that I am alive today. It's been a year since that incident, and I'm still to recover from it. As for John, well, he is locked up in some prison, facing a life sentence. Yes, that's the end of my fairy tale. <laughs> please, please leave me alone. Please, please leave me alone.